up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the film Avengers Endgame. Now this is the follow to Avengers Infinity War and this is actually like the fourth film in the Avengers film series. And this is also the 22nd film in the overall Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now this is actually supposed to be concluding like the, uh, the actual like the storyline that kind of started like in 2008 with like Iron Man supposed to be actually concluding that particular storyline. But of course, there's going to be like another phase of like uh, Marvel films, like cinematic films in general, you know. I know I think they're saying that the next Spider-Man film, Spider-Man Far From Home, that actually is supposed to, I think, actually end this current phase of the uh, the Marvel Universe. But anyway, this is like another Avengers film, basically, that has to deal with like the remaining Avengers. And it's a spoiler alert if you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War. It actually deals with the remaining Avengers who actually must still find a way to actually to, to defeat Thanos, you know. So if I go into too much, it kind of ruined the whole film, you know, but that kind of is what the bulk of the plot of the film itself is about, you know. Now, this did try to be pretty entertaining again, you know. I still think that uh, Avengers Infinity War was actually a better film, but I thought this was still like a pretty good, like, you know, a solid film, you know, and it actually does include that story that they was actually having, like, in, in Infinity War. <clears throat> Now, in this film itself, you know, not only do the Avengers have to take on, like, Thanos again, have to find a way to actually to defeat, to defeat him, they actually have to find a way, and even if I really hit, even if I hit this, it kind of, like, reveals what the whole film itself is about, even if I just say this, you know, they actually are in search of the, uh, the actual Infinity Stones, that shows you right there that something is going on with the film, you know, while they're looking for the Infinity Stones, you know, so I'm not going to really get into that too much, you know. So the, the film becomes like actually like a time travel like piece, you know, where they actually had to go back in time to like various like events throughout the uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, and they actually have to uh, you know, acquire the actual Infinity Stones, which are in these different like time frames. Now the film does have like, some pretty good action scenes, you know. I like that we get to see like, the Hulk talking a lot in the film, so I think that was pretty cool, you know, he's not like no longer quiet, you know. I think they started in a Thor Ragnarok, if I'm not mistaken. And like the various like Avengers, everybody looks like they're enjoying like their roles, like the characters, and it's, the film is so full of like all these stars, you know, you can't really like touch on one particular person, you know. Like a lot of them got a lot of screen time, there's certain like heroes or villains didn't get too much screen time, you know. But you have Robert Downey Jr. returning to do like Iron Man, Chris Evans as uh, Captain America, you know. Mark Ruffalo as like, you know, the Hulk and so on. Like Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Scarlett Johansson as the, uh, the Black Widow, you know, Jeremy Renner as a uh, Hawkeye, you know. All them Don Cheeto, you know, all them brought back in the film too as well. And it's bringing in more characters too from like the other films, you know, like, you know, Tom Holland and Spider-Man, you know. All, I'm not going to really get into all them, like, uh, you know, Chadwick Bosman. I mean, as you have the Black Panther, he, even he's like, you know, makes an appearance. And so it's like so many of them, you know, that I'm not going to really touch on all of them. I have uh, Josh Brolin, he's returned to provide, to provide the voice of Thanos, who still looks like incredible, you know, because he looks really, very incredible, like, you know, Infinity War, the CGI for him, you know, so he does still look pretty cool, so, and he actually has more of like a, like a, 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 from my opinion, I think the fight sequence that he had in this film is actually better than the one he had in Infinity War, you know, because it's like a scene where he has to take on like a couple of Avengers, and I'm not going to get into it too much, you know, but I thought this fight sequence with him this time was actually better than the one he had, like, in Infinity War, you know. Now you also have Paul Rudd, like, returning as, like, Ant-Man and so on. It's like I said, it's just so many of them, you know, I can't, you can't really, like, touch on all the Benedict coming back to Doctor Strange, you know. I'm not going to really get into all of them, you know. Even Stan, he makes the cameo appearance, you know. But the film, it is, it is, like, very long. Now, another thing I did notice about it, too, it didn't seem like it was, like, three hours long. It goes by kind of fast, you know, and probably because the story and how fun of a movie it was, that's probably what actually had this, you know. That's probably why it, was, it didn't seem too long, you know. Now, there are certain things about this film that, that didn't really, really feel right. Like, I feel like they shouldn't have done, you know. I wouldn't really agree with, you know. But I'm not going to really get into it, you know, because it's kind of sport territory, you know. Because they're dealing with, like, time traveling, like, elements, you know. And certain things, I feel like, you know, why would you go back and uh, reset the past and so on, you know. You should just left it like it was, you know. <laughs> but I guess if you could, you know, why not, you know. But still, at the same time, why do that, you know. Now this film was also directed by um, Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, and like I say, it was a well-paced film, you know, and it doesn't really feel like it's that long, you know, I, I would definitely recommend it for like fans of like the Avengers or like Marvel Cinematic Films in general, you know, I would definitely recommend it for their crew, you know. So in the end, uh, Avengers Endgame, like I say, I really couldn't get into it too much before actually spoiling the film itself, you know, I'd just be giving this a B-minus. 
And I would definitely, like I said, I recommend it. You know, I still feel like Infinity War was actually a better film than this one, you know. But this one was still pretty fun and entertaining too as well. So I'm giving it an Avengers uh, Endgame. I'm giving it some B-minus. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.